If you guys are looking for some piss cheap coins, head on over to golden.com and use DRG for a discount. Or if you're looking to buy some cheap MSP or PSN codes, head on over to G2A.com. What's going on boys and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video we are going to do a squad builder. We are going to build the best BPL transfers of the summer so far. It closes in 10 days from when I'm recording this. So there's probably going to be one or two more. Benzema could be a big, big signing if it happens, but he's not going to be in this because it's not done yet. Today is Monday when Liverpool play Arsenal. Who knows, maybe he could be in Vale tonight, which would be pretty insane. But at the moment, that deal is not done, so we're only going to do done deals. So let's move straight into the video, and we'll start off with the goalkeeper. So, without doubt, the best keeper that was bought during the summer is Peter Cech. No, he's not at the best of starts, to be honest. He's had a pretty dreadful start, but we all know how good he is. He's just taking time to settle in, and Arsenal haven't been convincing at the start of the season either, so it's not just Czech's fault. He's just come under probably a bit more pressure than he expected to so early on. So, clear favourite for the best keeper. Let's move on to the right back. Right, so I'm going with Klein. No, not just because I'm a Liverpool fan. You know, I'm really honest with my opinions on things. Klein is one of the best right backs in the BPL. Right backs are hard to come by and I think Klein's up there with the best. I would put Seamus Coleman probably ahead of him and until I've seen uh, Ivanovic play this season I would have said he was the best but he looks past it to me. That's just my opinion. I know loads of people are going to disagree especially Chelsea fans but Ivanovic has looked out of sorts in every single game he's played this season. Yes it's only three but he has not looked convincing. So, definitely I would put Klein up there with the best transfer right back of the season. Right, moving on to centre-back, we are going with Otamendi. It looked like he was going to Man United and Man City just swooped in and snatched him away. Of course, we haven't seen him play yet, but we all know how good he is. So, you can imagine him and company together will be absolutely beastly. Right, up next, we have got Micah Richards, who is an absolute beast of a defender. He should have been playing at the top level for so much longer than he did. And there's a reason he was handing the captain's armband when he moved to Villa, because he's an absolute leader, cracking defender. So, again, you've got to put him in for one of the best signings of the summer transfer window. Right up next, we have got Darmian from Man United. He's a right back for United. Seemingly, he played right mid for his previous club, I don't know. We're going to stick him left back because I can't think of a top left back that was signed. If I've been a noob, let me know down in the comments below, but I can't think of one. So Darmian looks solid, he looks like he's going to have a good season for Man United, so he's got to be on the best defenders signed in the BPL. So that's the back four. Goalkeeper, do you agree? Let me know down in the comments below if I've missed an absolute obvious cracking signing, which I possibly could have, you know what I'm like. So let's move on to midfield. Right, so first up in midfield, I'm going for Schneiderlin. I think this is a cracking signing for Man United. Once he's settled, you're really going to see the best from him. Uh, everyone's talking about the Schweinsteiger deal. I don't understand that deal, if I'm honest. I think Schneiderlin is much better. I would play Schneiderlin and Carrick beside each other. Sch Schweinsteiger, I don't know. I think he's got injury problems. His age is catching up on him slightly. I know he's not an old man or anything like that. But there's a reason he was sold. He was sold and Vidal was brought in to Bayern. There's a reason for that. And I think you've got to concentrate more on Schneiderlin than Schweinsteiger. Up next, I am going for Payet, or Payet, whatever way you want to pronounce it, from West Ham. Already, he looks absolutely incredible. I know they've, they started off really well and they've kind of, you know, eased off a little bit, but they're still playing good football. 4-3 against Bournemouth, that was an absolutely cracking game. I think Payet is going to definitely bang in some goals and he's going to make and create so many chances for his teammates. So, definitely one of the signings of the summer. Up next, we have got Firmino. Now, of course, we haven't seen him play yet. He hasn't started a match yet because, you know, he's still building up match fitness. But I think once he comes into the team, him and Coutinho could have a cracking little partnership going on and that could really click. So, I think we kind of need to wait and see. But for the money we've spent on him, he's going to have to provide the goods. Hopefully he does. Only time will tell, but I think he's a good, good signing of the, the transfer window. Up next, we have got a recent transfer and possibly the best. He could turn out to be the best signing of the summer easily. He looked absolutely insane last night on his debut. He scored one and he assisted one. And again, Man United missed out on him. The United fans have got to be a bit annoyed that they didn't sign Pedro. It looked like, again, that was a done deal. It looked like Otamendi was going there and it hasn't happened. But... Chelsea have done a really, really good bit of business signing Pedro, so 
watch out for him. If you've got a dream team or a fantasy team, stick him in it. He's going to absolutely clean up. Up next, we have got Memphis, who already looks like a cracking signing. In the Champions League qualifier, he tore them to pieces. Okay, not the best opposition, but still, he looked and finished his goals pretty spectacularly. So, he's looking insane. He's only going to get better as the season goes on. I think Van Gaal's still trying to find out whether to play him in behind, play him out left. I like to see him playing out left, as he did in the Champions League, because he can cut back in and bang him in with his right foot. So, again, he is he's up there with Pedro, I think. I think Pedro is more established, but... Depay has definitely got so much potential and he, it's going to be between the two of them to be the best signings of the summer transfer window, I reckon. And finally, yes, it's another Liverpool player, but a lot of people couldn't agree that Benteke looks solid. Uh, there's not many strikers that have been bought that are as good a quality as Benteke, I'd say. I think if Benzema deal is done or going to be done, I would replace Benzema with Benteke, obviously. Um, if you've got any other strikers that come in that you think is a better deal than Benteke, do let me know down in the comments below if I've missed an obvious one again. But I think Benteke is going to have a cracking, cracking season. So that's the team, lads. I'm not going to jump into a match with this. A lot of you have said before it's pointless because the chemistry is crap. And really, it has nothing to do with the video. So the whole video is based around the best BPL players of the summer that were signed. And I think this is a pretty solid team. I've possibly missed... A couple of obvious ones. Striker, there's something in my head saying I've missed a really good striker that was signed. But on a whole, I think I'm pretty close. That front line is awesome. Pedro, as I said, or Depay or Memphis are going to be the best signings, I think. And yeah, if you agree or disagree, as always, let me know down in the comments below. Smash the likes if you want to see a similar video to this. I'm struggling for ideas, so if you have any ideas before FIFA 16, please let me know, it's really appreciated. I've got lots of stuff lined up for FIFA 16, some new series, possibly career mode, or I won't say too much. I've got something planned that's a little bit different, and hopefully you'll be excited by it. So smash those likes, please subscribe, and I shall talk to you all next time. Cheerio.